I love it. I don't, it doesn't matter what I'm flying, a helicopter, an airplane, it's just incredible. The views we get are great, the sensations you have. Helicopter flying to me is, is really a lot of fun because generally we're down in the trees, it's very challenging. And uh, now learning to fly jets around here at NASA has been pretty incredible too. Had to hang up the helicopter keys, but uh, pulled out some jet keys and it's pretty nice. I'd always wanted to be an astronaut ever since I was a little kid. My grandparents lived in Titusville, right across from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, so I spent a lot of time down there as a small child. Ignition sequence start. My grandfather was really the inspiration behind all this because he would drag me out to see anything launching. Launch commit, liftoff, we have liftoff. Roger. All right, one minute, 19 seconds. For whatever reason, it kind of stuck in my blood. The ironic thing is when I decided to go to West Point, I figured that my dream of being an astronaut was gone, so I kind of gave up on it because I didn't realize you could be in the Army and be an astronaut, but it turns out you can, so. Back in 2008, I flew on STS-126. We were kind of a resupply mission. So they called our mission actually the Extreme Home Makeover Mission for the space station. We got a chance to bring up new bedrooms, a new bathroom, a new kitchen, a new gym, really outfit the station to be able to support more than three crew members. So that was pretty cool to be part of that. And then to go back a few years later in 2016 and 2017 when I flew on the Soyuz. That was an incredible time up there. The long duration piece is obviously a lot different than the shuttle couple week mission. There's a different cadence, a different rhythm you have to get into, uh, more of a marathon pace versus a sprint pace. The space shuttle for me was you're kind of rocking and rolling for the first couple minutes while the solid rocket boosters are on and then it smooths out and it's pure acceleration. The landing coming back in is super smooth because you're landing on a runway and Soyuz to me was kind of the opposite. It was a really smooth ride uphill but coming back was really violent and uh, pretty incredible that we uh, made it through that, but uh, they've been doing it for many, many years and uh, a proven product for sure. We do things differently down in Florida now than we did for shuttle. So it was just a whole different world. We kind of blended, I would say, the best things from shuttle during quarantine and launch day operations and the best things from Soyuz that we've learned over the years. And kind of now we have a hybrid of those really good things on launch day especially. I'm really excited about it. I love uh, the Kennedy Space Center and all the teams down there that I've gotten to work with. I love it for our country, our nation, that we're launching out of the U.S. again. It's a great capability that we have and just happy to be doing it again out of Florida. My name is Shane Kimbrough. I am the commander of NASA's SpaceX Crew-2 mission to the International Space Station.